So this is the myeloid lymphoid screening tube. Uh, we multiplexed uh, antibodies conjugated with the same fluorochrome. For example, uh, CD4 and Kappa, both of them conjugated with FITC. CD8 and Lambda conjugated with BE. CD3 and CD14 conjugated with ACD. CD20 and 56, both of them are conjugated with BC7. The other markers that are a uh, band lineage marker and can be also expressed across lineages are used solely, like CD33, CD34, 19, CD10, CD5, and CD45, of course. So with this antibody combination, we can enumerate the CD34 progenitor cells in a bone marrow sample. Also, we can subclassify them into B cell progenitors or myeloid progenitors. Also, we can screen for any apparent expression of CD3, CD14, or CD5. Similarly, we can also investigate the blast region and the negative CD45 region using similar sets of dot plots, since uh, BLL sometimes can be presented with a negative CD45. I have to stress here that this tube is not meant to analyze acute leukemia cases or cases presented with increased blasts. It is only for the group presented with bancytopenia, anemia, thrombocytopenia. However, during the course of the validation of the tube, we wanted to make sure that the tube is capable of detecting immature cells. So here are three examples. The first row is from an AML case. The blast population are around 50%. They are CD34 positive and them CD33. And that was confirmed by using our acute leukemia panel. And the middle uh, row here is from a BLL case. The blast are CD45 negative, right CD34, CD19 positive with aberrant CD33. And in the bottom row here, we have a TLL example where the blasts are 33% out of total. They are CD45 them, CD5 only positive, and negative for all other markers, including CD34. For B cells, the B cells are enumerated using CD19 and CD20. Then the light chain is established using Kappa and Lambda. Uh, this is a normal bone marrow sample, so we can see the hematocons here represented by the dark blue events. Also, we can evaluate the B cell maturation using CD10 versus CD20 dot plot. The plasma cells are located here in the lower left quadrant, CD10 and CD20 negative. Increased percentage more than 2% will prompt additional investigation using the multiple myeloma tube. Also, we can screen for any aberrant CD5 positive B cell population using CD19 versus CD5 out of the lymphocyte population. So with those antibodies, we can detect CD5 positive lymphoperiphery disorders. And the upper row here is representing a CLL case, CD5 positive, uh, DEM CD20 and DEM CABA. Of course, this is not sufficient to issue a final report and additional investigation is needed. The middle row is a lymphocyte, a lymphocyte cell suspension from a lymph node, at, um, and they are CD10 positive, have a cabala chain rest, uh, restricted, and this is a follicular lymphoma uh, example. Also, we can detect CD5 negative and 10 negative lymphoblastic disorder, and this is an example of peripheral blood sample uh, with bright CD20 positive B cell population and CABA blood chain restricted, and this would require additional testing as well. Although the, the myeloid lymphoid screening tube is not capable of gating the plasma cells because CD38 is not incorporated in the tube, we, however, we complemented the analysis template with a button recognition dot plot CD45 versus CD20 and 56 out of the living cells. This is an example of a normal bone marrow sample 
and the upper left rectangle should be completely empty of any events. On the right here is a bone marrow sample with AMGAS, monoclonal gamma bath of undetermined significance, and we can see an aberrant plasma cell population around 0.4% of total uh, that have downregulated CD45 and acquired either CD20 or CD56 by reflexing to the multiple myeloma panel, the dot plots here at the bottom of the slide, that was confirmed that there are negative CD1956 positive and cytoplasma Kabbalah chain restricted. For the T cells, the T cells are enumerated using CD3 and CD5 to make sure that there, are, there is no aberrant T cell population that's negative for either of those two markers. Also, the T cells are classified into CD4 positive T helper and CD8 positive T suppressors. We also investigate the, the intensity of CD5 and CD3 on the T cells. As for the N case, they are enumerated from a dot plot CD3 versus CD56, out of a bullion gate lymphocyte and not CD19.